So hello everyone, my name is Ankit Gupta and thank you for watching Europedia. Uh, today I have a student of Europedia, his name is Aditya Suswal and he recently got selection in Cranfield Universities for the master's program in heat, advanced heat engineering. University specializing in science, engineering, design, technology, and management. Uh, basically, they don't have any undergraduate programs. This university is solely for public research. So you would only, only find the research-based programs in Cranfield. And university, the best thing about this university is university barely take any part in QS ranking. Uh, but recently they got part, they took part in QS ranking and they they received a ranking of 27th worldwide. But we know that, that this university is prestigious university with a lot to offer for future researchers. All right, Swatitya, so how are you doing? Uh, fine, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. How are you, sir? All right, that's, that's really good. And uh, all right. about your academic credentials. Uh, so, sir, uh... I'm Aditya and I did my primary education from Mumbai and I did uh, my bachelor's in mechanical engineering uh, from SRM Chennai. Uh, I got a overall uh, CG, uh, percentage of 77 in my BTEC. Uh, mm -hmm. I also did two to three projects and all were based on heat or uh, some related to heat engineering. Uh, so I already had my some of my focus towards that field from the beginning. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, so, uh, do you did you write the IELTS exam? Because I have heard IELTS is an, is, a, is a very necessary exam for uh, yeah, admissions so in university. Most of the universities, if you are applying for Europe, uh, you would need an uh, English proficiency test. So, yeah, I wrote the, my IELTS uh, a month back. I got uh, seven point five band in that. So most universities require more than 6.5, 6.5 or greater. And if you want to apply for that, and it is, uh, I don't know about uh, much of the Europe, but in UK, I think it's compulsory to get uh, its score. Most of the universities. So uh, I believe that 7.5 is the safest score in IELTS. Uh, if you can get seven and above, it's good. IELTS exam. Uh, sir, uh, it's a uh, proficiency uh, test, so you know where you stand. So first you need to assess yourself, so you need some guidance. So I got it from the Yopedia group. So first you need to know that uh, where you stand and how much your proficiency is in the language. And then you can go forward in whatever the weaknesses you have and you can correct them. And it takes about a month or so, you can get a good band in that. Okay, that's fine. So you think that ideally, uh, a student should invest one month uh, in IELTS preparation. Yeah, I think it is safe. Uh, you can, if you are confident in yourself, you can go write a, uh, write about the paper and just give it. But I think a month of preparation is it's fine. I think it's not much, and you can give after that. All right. And uh, how did you find? Uh, how was the application process in Cranfield University? No, uh, the application process started from I think starts from February, and it is open all year round. So you can apply for the two sessions. It is first one is from September, October, I think, and the other is from January, I think. Not sure about the second one. So the application process is uh, quite simple. You just need to give all your credentials, your degree, uh, your transcripts, and you have to write a SOP. So all these things, uh, and if you have a proficiency test, then you have to give all those things to the university, and then they give you a conditional offer. This is if you are satisfying the credentials. They give you a conditional offer. So what it, the condition can be more documents or the proficiency test. So you have to meet those conditions and then uh, you get an unconditional offer finally. Yes. So in my experience, what I have seen so far is if you don't even have your IELTS exam or any sort of other English proficiency test exams, so you would still get an, uh, you, will, you would still get a conditional offer letter. Yeah. Do you yes, think, sir. you know, it's, it's the case here? I believe so. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, 
in Cranfield, sir, I I actually gave my exam first, right? But you can submit the application, and then uh, in the conditional offer, it is mentioned that you need a proficiency test. So you can then prepare for the proficiency test and then get it done. Then you can convert right. that conditional offer to that unconditional. Yes, exactly, and. Uh... Yeah, so basically, I would like to discuss some even something more important uh, for for many students in India. They have this hesitation about their profile that their profile is not really good. They they have low CGPA, all right. They have low uh, like sorts of other uh, academic credentials, for example, projects, internships. So uh, can you can you please tell me again uh, how 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 many uh, basically what was your CGPA? Uh, so uh, basically, so I will tell you, percentage was 77. Uh, 77. 77. So it is not quite that great. Uh, I've seen people more than 85 also. So, uh, so I think in, if you're applying for universities abroad, you need first to look at the topics or the subjects you're applying to. And if you're interested in those courses. So first you need to research the courses. And after that, uh, you can apply. You, uh, I don't think so. The credentials matter that much, but you should have respectable credentials. Uh, I think seventy-five percent above. I won't say uh, seventy-five. I won't uh, give a limit, but uh, I don't think so. Credentials that matter that much, but you have to have edge somewhere. Like right? you can, you can have a good project. BTEC project is quite an important one, as it can affect. You can have a good SOP. Uh, you can mail the professors and. Uh, get their uh, opinions on your projects or credentials. You can upgrade your skills and then you can apply. Abroad. So there are many ways to go. It's just not uh, about your credentials should be very great or something like that. So I think yeah, is basically uh, the admission depends on your overall profile rather than your credential. So if you have low CGPA. If you have low, if you don't have any work experience, so there are there are sort of other areas through which you can compensate your weak point. And moreover, uh, you you basically you know uh, said in a said it in a really good way that that you have to show your your strongest portion. So you have to project your strongest aspect of your profile. So I do believe that that is really very important, and uh, you are the living example. Okay, so again, I would like to congratulate you for that. Thank and uh, yeah, so basically, I have got a couple of more questions. So uh, I believe I have already provided some some brief intro, uh, introduction about Cranfield University. And uh, basically, I'm I'm curious to know why you choose this university, or have you applied to any other universities as well? Uh, sir, actually, when I was looking at the courses, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, I had a very keen interest in uh, heat engineering. So I had uh, two to three projects in that also. So uh, when I was looking for it, uh, I got uh, this course when I was looking from different universities. So advanced heat engineering uh, caught my eye and uh, Cranfield University is actually a, a university that, that is separate from others that is already, uh, that uh, it only provides PG courses, right? MSc courses or master yes. courses not for undergraduates so it actually gives you edge and uh, it is only for research oriented students and the focus is mainly on projects on different types of uh, uh, careers you can make after doing those projects uh, it is quite oriented with the uh, I would say with mainline British companies also and it has a lot of contacts if you after the after the course, if you are looking for a job, it would be much easier if you have done some course from the Cranfield University, and uh, that is all. Yeah. So, uh, so in a nutshell, uh, you are saying that employability is not an issue after you graduate from Cranfield because yes, of its sir. reputation and 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 the relationships it it shares with the, the with with the companies, right? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, so that's really good, and uh, I think we should uh, uh, basically uh, ask. Uh, I should ask more questions for you. I've got a couple of more questions. Uh, so, what advice you would give to uh, the future students or future aspirants who wanted to go abroad for the study? Uh, 
Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, so my advice would be that you should work hard towards your goals and uh, you should project your, like uh, you said, the stronger points. You can, go, can do good projects with professors. You can mail them. Uh, you can uh, take, if you are looking for sponsorships or scholarships, you can uh, do that way if you if you're looking for some scholarships also. And uh, to project yourself in a good way, you can uh, take any good point from yourself, from credentials to projects to mailing professors to, uh, if, you, if the professor has a common point with you, like if you're looking for uh, doing a research in specific uh, domain and the professor is also doing in that domain. So that gives you edge, right? Uh, so it would be very good. So it is just not about the credentials and you should keep looking. It should not be you know, uh, discouraged by failures, you should keep looking for different opportunities and that's all. Yeah, so talking about scholarship, uh, so did you apply to any any scholarship uh, uh, or basically did you apply to uh, Commonwealth scholarship or masters? Uh, there is Commonwealth scholarships. It, uh, it is quite competitive also. Total amount of scholarship I got, it was uh, uh, solely on my credentials. Uh, you can apply for net zero scholarship, commonwealth scholarships, two to three scholarships are available at Cranfield and you can apply for, for them. Uh, you can easily get loan also, uh, as Cranfield is a reputable university. So if you're looking for that also, you can, it is a, a good way. Yeah, so there are a lot of financial, uh, basically feasibility, which is available to our students, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, finally, uh, basically, how did you find your media? Uh, yeah, so it was a great experience uh, overall from uh, SOPs to uh, getting different uh, domains and uh, upgrading our skills. It can be anything from coding to different type of subjects. You can choose to upgrade your skills and it will be really helpful. Like if you know a language or computing language or a different skill set, like such as MATLAB or something like that. It will be really helpful if you're doing masters or PhD. So that was a, a plus point. You are going with a plus point in your masters. So I uh, did that also. And a lot of uh, a lot of help was available in uh, the filling of forms in IELTS and uh, different type of uh, areas. All right, there. So I think uh, that's, that's a great uh, session. And again, I would like to thank you for staying with me. Yes, All right. Sir. And thank I you. wish you best of luck in your future career. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. So thank you. Thank you.